Chad Shea Bear 1000 here. Monkey, hi. She's excited. Bruno's oh excited. We're sure. going, huh? Everybody's down here today. Yeah, we got a lot of people. This is where we set up. Yeah, they're all sitting out here in the sun. And nobody Oops. was here yesterday, and now they're here. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Steve waving at us. <laughs> But we're going on an adventure. We're going to go look at a couple places for camping. Spring's coming up. We're going to do a little camping. So we're going to check out these places. We're going to bring you along with us. So yeah, that's what we're doing. So monkey's excited. Yay, so is Bruno. He's with us. Yeah, Bruno's with us. He's always got to be in my movie. Yeah. So all right, we'll let you know when exciting things happen. Welcome to Hog Island. So this place has 20 some campsites. They're all in wooded areas. They all have a picnic table. They all have a fire ring and water. There's no electric, but that's okay because we have inverters when we need to charge the cameras and stuff. But it's nice and pretty through here, shady. Yeah, it is. Be great for the summer, you know, because it's nice and shady. So we're gonna go check out the boat ramp. We was down in here once checked out the sights when I turn around because we want to go check out the boat ramp we passed it so. yeah. how much is it here I don't know but what you can do is you pick out a vacant site and you can take your payment and put it in a steel what they call Ranger yeah or you can uh, go online and pay for it mm -hmm. That's where we came out at. Yeah. So there's some there's some campers there. Mm -hmm. So right up here on the right is the boat ramp. see a sign that said no pets didn't we yeah no horses too no horses no pets yeah so i don't know about bruno we could come here for a one night thing no but I'm we can't come that. here to holy week we have a babysitter for bruno well, we want to go in here and see what they do this is the picnic, picnic area, area and, and boat ramp foot trail there's a trail, yeah, there's trails, hiking trails through here. So we're gonna park and we'll get out and we'll show you the water. So here's the boat ramp. It's pretty scary looking. <laughs> pretty not... though. Yeah. Very pretty. Quiet. Which is nice bringing your little this, canoe out here. Is this a river? This is the West of Coochie. This is part of the Withlacoochee River? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Is that a gator or is that a log? That's a what? Is that a gator or is that a log? Uh, I don't know. It's probably a log. Not really. So. Yeah, it's pretty through here. Get us another Ginu or a small flat bottom John boat would be perfect to come through here. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty. So. Wow. I like this uh, rock wall here. Pretty cool. 
Bravo. Very nice. There's another one just right up the road here, not far from here. We're going to check it out. It's not going to be too long. I'll break out the tent and get it aired out and make sure it's still waterproof good. Yeah, pretty cool. Mm hmm. Very pretty. Wow. Yeah. There's a campsite right there. Where? Right here? No, this is a picnic area. Oh, is it? Not a campsite. Oh. So, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, so let's go check out the, the other, other one. one. Okay, so we're coming out now. We're going to be going to. River Junction, Iron, Iron Bridge, East Hunt Camp. So we're going to be going this way. So I'll turn you on when we get up here. Okay, guys, we're at this, it's a day use place. Um, it's called Iron Bridge, though I don't see an Iron Bridge. But I do see something over here. Not sure what it is. Maybe that was part of a bridge, I don't know. But this is pretty nice. Like I said, it's a day use area. A picnic table there. I hope I'm getting this because I can't see anything in the screen. So. You can see on that steel thing there that how high the water's been. So you can put a boat in here. Just back. So there's a couple vehicles up here with boat trailers on them you can back down here and put in here in the Withlacoochee River so like I said I'm not sure if there used to be a bridge here maybe that's why they call it that I don't know let's go around this this way There's all kinds of trails. There's also they've also got equine trails, you know, horse trails. And it's cool they've got a hunter's camp not far from here. If you're a hunter. Now I'm not sure what that is over there. It's got a sign on it. Sorry guys, I can't see anything in this in this camera. Some big birds there. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I mean, I'll try to zoom in. Let me get over here by this tree. sure what that says danger something I didn't bring my my tripod but it's got a solar panel up on top there it's neat so yeah that's part of the whistle of coochie guys which kind of runs past the house, past our house. Kind of, you know, we're like five minutes from the Whitlacoochee River. 
where we live. Yeah, there's Bruno Monkey. Let me turn you around here. So that other place was cool. Got some nice campsites. A lot of people camping. Uh, there are probably 10 or 12 people out camping, so that's cool. Uh, we want to find this other campsite that she said is not far from here. Um, I hope it's not the hunter's camp because I'm not going to camp if I'm not hunting. So, you know, take up a spot for someone that, that does want to hunt. So, but yeah, this is a pretty nice place. I'll get up here on this little knoll and I'll give you a, a slow pan. Monkey's doing her video. Very pretty in this area. Bruno's the exploring dog. So I don't know what it was. Yeah, we'll have to. We'll let you know if we find out anything. But it is called Iron Bridge, you know, for a reason. So I'm thinking this may have been an old bridge. Or part of an old bridge, but there, there, you know, may have been. But you can see how high the water does get here. Not real often, but it does does get does get pretty high sometimes. But like I said, I'm. Um, I mean, it's only a guess that maybe that's part of a bridge. It's a danger sign. So, yeah, very pretty. So we'll have to get another, I don't know about getting another Ginu. I'd like to have a flat bottom John boat, you know, about 14 footer. So hopefully by, by this summer we'll be able to get one, you know, something that, that we can tow behind the truck. You know, we don't want to put a lot of weight on that truck, that old girl, you know. Does enough for us, but but we're definitely going to be camping. The weather's going to be breaking here before long. It's a nice day today, so we're looking at 70s and 80s coming up. So um, we'll come out here for a weekend, and I'm not sure what we're going to do with Bruno. The sign said no pets or horses, but I... You know, he's a service animal, but we're always having trouble with them bastards about that, so. <clears throat> it's like they said they, they don't recognize an emotional service animal as a real service animal. Well, he's doing a service. You know, like a couple times I've told him, I said, yeah, well, you know, emotional service animal, I said, you know, people with emotional issues are probably usually because of dealing with assholes like you and I've told them that and they're like well we're required to ask you three questions I see you're not required well we're allowed to ask you three questions that's right you're allowed to ask me anything you want but also I am not required to answer them and I can't get it through their head no you have to no I don't have to answer anything you know because that's part of the the Privacy Act. People don't need to know your disabilities or your handicaps or anything like that. It's none of their business. So, yeah, they're allowed to ask you anything they want, but you do not have to answer. So, there we go. So, anyway, very pretty. Um, so, yeah, we're going to, after she's done doing her filming here, we're going to go up the road and see if we can find the other campsite hopefully it wasn't the the hunters camp but so we just thought we'd do a, a vlog today um, we kind of did a short little investigation at the house last night at our house so that was pretty interesting I don't know if you'll see it before or after this video but I'll show you these birds here real quick that are up in the trees let me see if I can zoom in on them. Hold you steady enough. Yeah. 
I had their wings out a second ago. So, anyway, there's one there. About four of them up there. One, two, three, four, five now. That one is flying around there. Whoops. Yes. He just landed right in there. So, all right, guys. So, there you go. Very pretty area. A lot of places like this down here. Uh, around our area, such as county, and yeah, very pretty area. So, you're down around this area, look this, you know, look these places up and come and visit. Uh, yeah, you won't be disappointed. All right, I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so, okay guys, sorry about the noise, but we're right beside the highway. So, we went on down, talked to an older couple that other uh, campsite was for hunters for it's a hunter's camp so we wasn't far so we thought we'd check this place out throw this in for you guys wild cow prairie cemetery estimated early 1800s always remember so Very cool. Died January 1909. 1908. These are very hard to read. December. I can't tell what that says. Huh. 42nd Infantry. There's no date. Just a name. Look at these. Now they put these these on here to keep the the stones from breaking. So he died in this person died in 1880. So see this is what happens. They get broke off. Uh, they fall down. Can't can't tell when they died. They were born in 1848. Like I said, sorry about the, the traffic noise. Died 1880. And 
I left my glasses in the truck. I can't see what this says. Maybe you guys can see it. The flags, I'm guessing these were I don't want to lift that stone up, but the flags usually means uh, military. So um, this is an old military cemetery. He was a, this guy was a private. Um, no, no year. Uh, this is uh, Florida private, Florida MTD laws, uh, Indian Wars, huh? So I'm just wondering if these two, they have matching stones, if they died at the same time. This one's Indian Wars too. So, uh, very interesting. Just, uh, there's a sadness here, you know. So. See, no, no dates though. They bring the highway right pretty much beside it. Unfortunately, you know, but it is nice out here. But it's just very noisy because of the uh, that's uh, Interstate 75 right there. All right, I'll kick you guys back on at our next stop, huh? I don't know. I'm not don't sure. No. No. Nope. Uh, Thomas M. Mobley. Did you see those ones that say Indian War? Yeah. Wow. Mobley, see, 42nd ALA Infantry. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure what the COD or the CSA stands for. Mm-hmm. Maybe somebody knows. I can tell us. Yeah, if you guys know. Yeah, leave it in the comments below. We would appreciate that. Is that, I don't know if that's Alabama Infantry. That's, uh, you know, my sister's fiance, James. That's his last name, Mobley. James Mobley. Who? No, James, my sister's fiance. Yeah, does he have family members? I don't know. I don't know if that 42nd, I don't know if that's the 42nd Alabama Infantry. I don't, I don't have any idea. You have to ask him. But James is from Alabama. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, but I don't know if that's what that means or not because... I don't know. See, that says Florida Private. That says uh, Florida MTD. This is uh, Florida MTD. I don't know what the VOLS, Vols. Stephen Weeks and Charles Branch. There's no, there's no date though. Huh. Interesting. Well, I'll kick, I'll kick you guys back on this. Is a, this is an angel praying or crying. You see that? Yeah. She's, looks like she may be crying, an angel crying. So. All right, I'll kick you back on. Okay, I wanted to show you this. 
I think that's 2015, but it's an Eagle project. Uh, Troop 439, which is uh, Boy Scouts. Um, I don't know if they're taking care of it or if they're the ones that did the sign to get their uh, their their Eagle badge, but very nice. Okay, guys, we are here at the Flying Eagle Preserve, but it's the second time we've been here. We was here about a year ago, but there's supposed to be camping, hunting, fishing, boating. But look at the look at the locks on this thing, man. I mean, I don't understand. Uh, it's supposed to be hiking trails and biking trails and. Attention, Flying Eagle Preserve, WMA, will be conducting managed hunts on the following dates, 2019 to 20, let's see, December 13th through the 15th, and then March 21st to 24th, March 27th to the 31st, but, I mean, See, it's got all this stuff you can do. Hiking, horseback riding, fishing, biking, bird watching, uh, restrooms, wheelchair accessible, hunting, and camping. But, it's always locked and it says keep the gate locked. Okay, open during daylight hours for the following activities. Okay, dogs and horses except in designated areas. Okay, well it's got a whole list of the following things are prohibited, but it says open during daylight hours for the following activities. It really doesn't give any activities. So the dogs aren't allowed? Fires, fireworks, or explosives except in designated areas. Well, dogs are allowed in designated areas, but see it says for the following activities, what activities? And then it says if all this stuff is prohibited. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to check this out. I got a battery light blinking. Okay, guys, I think we're going to get to see an airboat cross here. He sounds very close, so let's watch and see. He's coming. There he is. He's coming around the bend. Here he comes. Here he comes. Hi. He's going to go over the bridge, so we'll we'll get this for you. will not get wet. This guy's slow down. Yeah, this is cool. So he's going to go right up over here, yep. right across the road. He's got a doggy too. <laughs> a dog out enjoying the boat ride. Mm, it's beautiful, right? Yeah. Having him a cold drink. This is cool.
you feel that? Yeah. Feel the water? Yeah. We feel the water, don't we? Yeah. He saw that dog, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did. You see how that dog sat down and just hovered down? Yeah, he yeah. knew. He's yeah. been a, he's been a, through here a couple times. Yeah. Okay, guys, there you go. Okay. We wanted to get that for you, so. Sorry about the noise, but that's awesome. I yeah. love it. That was cool. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, there's little fishies jumping. I think you got them, didn't you? The fishies? No. Jumping. No, oh, they're just little yeah, they shiners. Just, they get disturbed from the Oh shad, motion. yeah. So that was pretty neat. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> just right. to watch that. And he was fun waving and stuff. Yeah, having him cold drink. Yeah. That's the life right there, man. Yep. Yeah. Really, he could have picked us up and we could have went with him. Yeah. <laughs> He stopped there. I thought he was going to say, you want a beer? <laughs> yeah, I'll have a beer with you. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with you. That's funny. This is cool. It's not for drinking. Cool, huh? All right, so we just talked to a woman. She's probably about our age. Huh? Yeah, I would say so. Living in her van with her little dog yeah. um, she canceled her reservation here what you do is you go online it's free and you reserve your spot and they give you a code to get in that gate where I showed you all the locks yeah and uh, but she's going she's heading back out west so she travels across the United States in her van so check this out it's the carcass of an armadillo yeah sure is yeah so, but yeah, so we, so we ran into her, that was nice, she explained to us, just, you just go online and you reserve your spot. And it's free. Yeah, and it's free. Um, we can also, they don't care even if you go over to the equine area where the, where they have the horses. So we're going to go over there and check that out now. Um, it's all primitive, no water, no electric. That's okay. We're going to be tenting, huh? Yes. And we have, like I said, inverters and stuff to keep our cameras charged so we can keep in touch with you guys, huh? Yeah. And uh, so, yeah. So, here, what? A week or two, maybe? Yeah, we can. And Bruno's allowed, so he'll, he'll be coming with us, so. Yep. All right, so we're going to go the equine. Is right up here to the left. Yeah, we just want to see what the difference right and what up our options here. are. Yeah, so we're going to go check this out. So we did like the one side over on the other side that we went to. Yeah. So it's nice. It's got trees for shadiness and also sun. But we do, time. yeah, we do have to be careful. We have to be careful of the bears, so we have to get some bear spray. But anyway, we'll get to that when we come out. So hang tight, guys. Okay, guys. So we're going to head home. We know kind of a couple of spots that we're going to try to get. Mm -hmm. As far as we know, you just kind of, you put in your reservations, you just come out and you set up. They come out and check. So, yeah. make sure you got your permit. So, yeah. um, there you go. So, this is going to be a, f a fun weekend. Huh? Yeah. It well, will. when we go, it'll be a week or two, but we're going to go. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, and I'll show her. I was telling her how I cook. You guys have seen my other camera videos. I eat <laughs> and I eat good we're talking eggs and pork chops for breakfast mm -hmm. yeah bacon leftovers from breakfast for lunch and then supper time we're talking steaks chicken and now that we have the Dutch oven I will be baking homemade bread that'll be nice in the Dutch oven that'll be cool so keep your eyes and ears open for that click the bell icon to get notified of when that happens so it'll yeah. be happening soon Mm -hmm. We need to get out and get away for a few days. So. Yes, I do. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, we got to hear the airboats all day, but, you know, that's just fine. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. Mikey says she's out for now. Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for letting me use your camera, monkey. You're welcome. Her battery, she's still got half life on her camera. Mine's blinking red, so. <laughs> Yeah. Which used to be my camera. Mm. 
but I oh. give, I take care of her. I give. We kind of share it. Yeah, I give her the good camera though, huh? Uh huh. Yes. All right, guys. See you. Bye bye. Bye.